All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. Now I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. So I have this plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. And I can do this because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. Now from here, I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So if I substitute in y for 2 to the power of x, I get y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 68. Now I can subtract 68 on both sides. So I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 68 is equal to 0. Now, to actually factor this and find the value of y, I need to first find the factors of 68. So the factors of 68 are 1, 2, 4, 34 and 68. So now one wouldn't work because one times 68 we can't subtract those two to get y. And two wouldn't work either. The only one that would work is four, because if you divide y minus four with y to the power of three plus y minus 68, that would be a factor, that would be factorable. So now that we know that four is a proper factor, For my original equation here, y to the power of 3, I'm going to rewrite this as y to the power of 3 minus 4y squared plus 4y squared minus 16y, which is the which is 4 squared, plus 17y, because negative 16y plus 17y is equal to y, and finally minus 68 at the end is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor by grouping. So these two are a group, these two are a group, and these two are a group. From y to the power of 3 minus 4y squared, I'm going to factor out y squared because that's the greatest common factor. So I get y squared times y minus 4 plus from 4y squared minus 16y, I'm going to factor out 4y. So I get 4y times y minus 4. And from 17y minus 68, I'm going to factor out 17. So I get 17 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out y minus 4, I get y minus 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. And now, this, is, this gives me two equations. I get y minus 4 is equal to 0, and I get y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. So for y minus 4 equals 0, add 4 on both sides and I get y equals 4. For y squared plus 4y plus 17 equals 0. I can factor this by using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 4, and c is 17. So I get y is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 17, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. This is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 68 over 2, which is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 50, negative 52 over 2. 
and this is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 52 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. And the square root of 52, this can be simplified to, well, 52, that's 20, that's 13 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2, so this can be 2 root 13. So I get y is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 2 root 13 times the square root of negative 1, which is simply equal to i over 2. Now, if I divide both terms by 2, I get y equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 13i. Or sorry, negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 13i. So, now that we know these values of i, y, remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal to y. Meaning, I get 2 to the power of x equals 4, and this is obvious, x equals 2. So, that's one solution of x. And I also get 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 2 plus the square root of 13i. And 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 2 minus the square root of 13i. Well, 2 to the power of x, we can't take, we can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal a negative number. So there's no solutions for these two. And x equals 2 is my only solution to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my original equation, uh, sorry, the original problem here. So I rewrite 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. And now, this is the same thing as, you can rewrite 901 as 900 plus 1. So this is the same thing as 9, 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. Now, there is an important exponential property that you guys should know. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, we have 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And using this property, we can rewrite it as 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 900 and, or sorry, 9 to the power of 1. Now from here, notice how we have two terms here. Our first term is 9 to the power of 900, and our second term is 9 to, the, 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So because both of our terms have 9 to the power of 900 in them, we can factor that out. So we can factor our 9 to the power of 900, and we get 9 to the power of 900 times, well, 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is 1, minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is simply just 9 to the power of 1. So I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify what's in my parentheses here. 1 minus 9 is negative 8. So I have 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. And I can rewrite negative 8 as 8 times negative 1. And now I'm going to multiply negative 1 with 9 to the power of 900. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. Now from here, I'm gonna, I can rewrite my 9 here as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of 900 
times 8. And now 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So I have ne negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. And now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this can equal negative 3 to the power of 2 times 900. And now I have this times 2 to the power of 3. And if you guys already didn't know, 2, to the power, two times 900 is 1800, so I have negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is our answer in its most simplified form. We can't, if, if you want, you can try putting in 3 to the power of 1800, but that number is way too big for any calculator to actually be able to output. So this is the simplest form that we can put our answer in. So that is our answer to 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901 and see how much big of a difference it is.